Now that I've parked up there, I've spotted a cracking photo up just across here. So we're going to head across, we've got a few pictures, and then get back on the road. Absolutely stunning, wait till you see this. There's a wee boat house over there. But we're going to get back on the road because we I've got about an hour and a half till the sun sets, we need to get the canoe loaded up and go over to this island. We don't even know where it is. Well, a five minute drive around Loch Ard and we've reached the village hall which there is a car park there, um, you can put in a donation and park there as long as you want which we did do <coughs> um, We lost quite a bit of time as we had to do some updates to the drone so we packed the canoe quickly and got down and out into the open water on Loch Ard which really was a winter wonderland, it was absolutely stunning the scenery was out of this world But before long, <laughs> we had our first obstacle of the day, which was the ice. Took us quite a bit of time actually getting out into the open water. We had to chop our way through the ice. Eventually the boat just came to a halt and stopped. And we had to use the paddles to chop through it. It was great fun though. Well, here's our first obstacle. <laughs> There we go. Hey, Woo, that was hard work. <laughs> Try to break through all the ice here. <laughs> wow, this is absolutely stunning. Let's go, mate. <laughs> Brilliant, look at this. Wow, man. <laughs> After half an hour or so of paddling, we reached Eiland Gorm Island on Lockyard, which was our destination for the night. As you can see, the light was lowering pretty fast and the sun was due to set, so we offloaded the canoe quickly, dumped the bags and went straight back out onto the open water to capture some aerial footage of us paddling around in the canoe. Take off. Okay, uh, Graham was just about to take the drone up into the air and one of the propellers came flying off and went into the water. We've just retrieved it and uh, hopefully <laughs> this should be okay. <laughs> Take off. We eventually got the drone off the ground <laughs> and we sent it out over Loch Ard to capture which turned out to be absolutely incredible aerial footage of this area. It couldn't have worked out any better weather-wise for us. There was zero wind, which was creating these perfect reflections at the edges of the loch. The loch was just like a sheet of glass. The only ripples in the water was either the drone flying across it or it was coming from us out in the open water in the canoe. I'm going to stop talking for a few minutes and let the video do the talking. 
here is Lockyard at its finest in winter. Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. Go home. Oh, did you hear that there? Well, that's the last of today's light. I'm just waiting on the stars coming out. I need to go and try and find a, an area where we can get rid of the trees with the branches. Get a better, I think we'll go over to the left hand side of the island here. And hopefully get a clear sky. Too many branches hanging about here. We've got some nice drone footage here. Drone was working for a change. Managed to get the updates done. Uh, so I'm looking forward to going back and checking out that footage. Here's Sean and the boss there just trying to get a wee fire going. We'll head up. This is going to be our digs for the night. The place is absolutely spotless. Great, great condition. Two windows, fireplace. There we go. It's supposed to be minus nine tonight. Which is pretty cold, but we'll be kept going with this fire here. Cheers. All the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold, lovely. Well, we're just going to get a wee pot noodle. Get a bit of a heat in us. It's pretty cold in here, even with that fire going. We're just trying to get the fire kindled up properly so we can get a good heat. That's it. Lovely. Ooh. <laughs> <sighs> 
Well, just did a bit of time lapse. Or Star Trail photography, whichever one turns out best. <laughs> Taking a series of 200 pictures. <coughs> I've got some great reflections of the stars in the water here. Um, I'm not going to put the head torch on because <coughs> obviously that'll light up part of the water, which I don't want, so I'm going to keep it dark for the time being. But it should look good, good. it's perfectly calm, there's not even any wind, any breeze at all. So I'm hoping we get some star trails across the sky and in the reflection in the water as well. We'll see how it how it turns out. I need to just keep an eye on my lens so it doesn't fog up. It's absolutely freezing. Well, it's us back inside, <coughs> as you can probably tell from our breath in here. Freezing outside. Um, it's about minus nine, minus ten outside now. It's cold down here as well, but we're, we're alright with that wee fire going. <coughs> we've just sparked the barbecue on the menu tonight. We've got two fillet steaks, um, we've got some mushrooms, asparagus, some baby corn, a couple of rolls, burgers. <laughs> Pot noodles, <laughs> beer, wine, and a glass of, glass of red wine as well. Just <coughs> wine up at the fire. Yes. Yep. So, yeah, looking forward to dinner, starving, get the heat back in us. Hopefully, we'll start heating up before they start burning some calories because it is very, very cold. Anyway, let's get the steaks on here. There we go, we've got everything running at the one time here. A couple of steaks sizzling over there in the wee barbecue. We've got asparagus, baby corn, and some chestnut and button mushrooms sizzling over the fire pit there. <laughs> and some of the finest wine, straight from my shelf in Asda. Chilean wine, actually. <laughs> Lovely. Just standing here so like two dogs waiting this. <laughs> <laughs> Great setup, absolutely perfect. There we go. Well, without further ado. <laughs> As you can see, that was absolutely rank. <laughs> <coughs> that was absolutely delicious, brilliant. Mm. The steaks were cooked to perfection. It was perfect. Well worth the wait, wasn't it? Oh, definitely. I'd come, I'd come back here for a meal. <laughs> <laughs> I'd come back here for a meal. Brilliant. Well, it was about half eleven, quarter to twelve, something like that. <clears throat> we are just going to get settled down. One last beer and then we're going to jump in my sleeping bags, it's absolutely freezing in here. <laughs> I've got the fire going over the back there still just to take the edge off things but it is absolutely freezing. There's a draft coming in. I don't know if you can see it or not here right at the side of this door. It's wide open right down there. There's a lot of cold air coming in. I'm losing a lot of heat through there but it should be fine. Um, Sean's set up there, he's got his <coughs> Carpet underlay, a full roll of that, so it should be pretty well insulated off the ground. And the four season sleeping bag as well, and a roll mat underneath, <laughs> and a burst air bed that he brought. <laughs> <laughs> he sat on. Blew <laughs> <laughs> yeah, up for 10 minutes manually, and then <laughs> it popped. <laughs> it should be fine. Uh, I'm sleeping inside a bivy bag. With two roll mats, um, so hopefully we should be fine. We've got the guard over the fire as well over there, hoping that we don't get any sparks flying out. Is this will probably go up like a shell suit? <laughs> but we should be all right. You're anyway, you're we'll earplugs. get. I've got earplugs as well because Sean snores like a a wild beast. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's about quarter to four in the morning. I 
Not slipped one bit. <laughs> um, main reason being this. So, I've got my stuff I'm in a bivvy bag anyway, so <coughs> it's suitable to slip outside. <laughs> so, that's what I'm going to do. It's unbearable. I need to sleep. So, well, here we go. I've got two roll mats in there one inflatable, one normal. Four season sleeping bag and another face baby bag. And I'm sleeping under the stars. <laughs> I wish I could check this camera out and capture Sean's reaction in the morning when he wakes up and I'm not there. <coughs> anyway, I'm going to go and try and get a couple of hours. Put this camera back inside the buffy. Night night. It's about quarter past eight, sun's due to come up, fifteen minutes. <coughs> Here's where I decided to sleep last night. <laughs> it was actually a very comfortable sleep, I must admit. There's a lot of condensation inside the, um, the, the bivvy bag, but sleeping bags are a bit damp, but I wasn't cold at all. <coughs> I look forward to using this in the summer, instead of carrying a tent around. All day breakfast packs and Sean's up there making scrambled eggs. I highly recommend these, they're great. Keep them hot or cold, but they taste great. Dead easy, you can boil them in the bag so you don't even need to use a plate or you can just <coughs> do it this way and cook it over the stove. There we go. Delicious. <laughs> Heading back, as you can see, the snow is coming on quite heavy. I think we're hardly to get into it, but very calm, brilliant, calm so far. Thank you. 